Okay, I'm going to be coaching Samunian. He is the Pac-Man, and... That's about it. Let's go. Uh... This must be a, a offline match, <laughs> because he is not moving and you're not attacking him. So, that's fine. Warm up. That was confusing. I was so confused. Okay, now we're starting. Okay. Um... This guy, the character you're playing against is called Marth. He's a fire move character. He's got a sword. A really big one. He's gonna up tilt you. Or, sorry, I was gonna uh, evade your um, landing aerial. He's gonna do an um, attack on him when you land. You have to be landing against him carefully, because up tilt will just stuff out every single landing you do against him. Every single one. Tuckle Ray is awesome, because you got away with it, but don't do it, don't do it too much. He, good players will catch on to it. Good. Okay, so what I'm seeing already is he doesn't, he's not impatient with the double jump, he goes low. Um, he's not impatient, that's awesome for him, but you can abuse this. Jump from ledge almost immediately, looks like. Yeah, he immediately gets up and does an um, AR roll. So what you could do is wait, uh, wait right here next time. Now his shield, because the up B will hit you, the hitbox goes right here. So his shield, wait for the hitbox, wait for him to jump immediately, and the up air his um, thing. Tell him no. Lounds of Danner. Ooh, landing safely this time. Okay, when you're throwing a cherry, oh, sorry, strawberry, don't be impatient with it. So, the, I know that the instinct is to, when you hit him, um, even if he shields it, is run up and do a forward air, so, or Z drop or what, or a catch with Z. But, like, um, you need to be very patient. Because, see, you got hit for it. So, it's a, ha it's a really, really big habit that I'm sure most pac mans have. Is they throw it, the, the pops up, and you do a forward air, and re-catch it. Sometimes, you just gotta let these things go. Especially since this is the only second charge for you. You gotta be very patient with stuff. It's fine. Yeah, and he's just kind of landing with aerials. That's bad. Awesome. Okay. Um. All right, so this isn't terrible. We did miss the bell, but we we shouldn't really be using the bell. We should be using Galaga or Key or Bell or is it not Bell? Um, Galaga, Key, Melon, Apple, whatever you want. Anything to do percents, really. Um, we shouldn't be using Bell at this percent. I guess we're trying to do some kind of wonky setup. Um, uh, but this is awesome because we have him in um disadvantage. He's in the corner of the stage and we are center. But it looks like he did a forward air here and we just gave him stage control. See, very bad. Okay, so he likes to DIN, he likes to um, pressure you. Again, Pac Man can recover from the depths of hell. Like, he can go, go in the very corner of the map and he can still make it back. So, be very patient with these kind of players. He can't go that deep. If he goes that deep, he's dead. So, good patience. I like it. You DI'd out. Okay, so it looks like he was trying to chomp you, I think. Yeah, he's definitely going for the chomp. And he got it. But he just didn't do it back here. I don't know why he didn't. So, um, I don't experience chumps. I don't experience players who chump that well. Um, to avoid it, you need to delay your recovery. So next time he goes to up I'm expect to attack, you get to be ready to attack. And to stall out your recovery, just drop a hydrant. If you jump a hydrant, you, you stall in midair a little bit longer. So you jump a hydrant and then do your trampoline, you, you would chump him instead. Um, you should have got that here. You would not have got hit with that. Okay. I did see it coming. So, anyone with a reflector will try and do that. Anyone with the hitbox recovery. And your trampoline and your side B has a hitbox. So, you need to be very careful when, um, if you, if you think he's going to jump off and do a counter, you need to go high, low, or just not, do not grab ledge with the side B. He will kill you. And you went high and you were ready for it. And now we get stage control and almost what you do with it. We run away and I hit some. Okay, he, he, he likes to, he doesn't like to wait. He does he wants to get on the stage. Um, after holding shield, he likes to do up tilt, but if you see last time, he, like, jumped immediately, and this time he rolled immediately. He like, does stuff immediately, every single time. I just good. I just hurt. Okay, so, um, the smash attack for us punish is awesome, because it's, it's a really great reward, because stage control on good percent. But if, if you feel like their move doesn't have enough in lag, then just go for a safer option, like, four tilt. Like a run to grab anything you want. You don't need to go for um, smash attack. Only do that when like it's obviously punishable, like a Kirby's dash stick or whatever. Again, I think he's gonna jump off. Oh, nice no, not. Right. So he's gonna he's gonna mix up his um edge guardian. Again, landing there. Okay, this, you got impatient with the throwing bell again. 
with the, sending the strawberry. See, so your immediate reaction is okay. Uh, even if he shows us, I'm gonna watch it run out here and I'm gonna recatch it. But this is not the greatest idea because he he parries it. <laughs> even if he shields, it's not that great because if he shields Buffy Ferrer there and the bell, he up tilts and you don't you don't recatch a bell and you don't and you get percent and you're off stage, which you, which is what you did. Okay, I have to patience though. <laughs> okay, mm, I don't really like this. The taunt here is awesome. I love it. But after throwing a taunt, throw a hydrant. Because look, he's he's in a bad position. You throw a hydrant, he's he's in a same bad position. He tries jumping over it. You do forward air, down air, nair, whatever you want. If you just roll past it, you get ready for it. Or if you actually attack the hydrant, you duck under it and punish him. Like the hydrant's amazing. And now, oh, we didn't. Okay, now he has stage control now. So if the hydrant was there, that would have been amazing. Okay, so again, um, it looks like he likes to jump off into forward air, jump into counter. He has to be ready for these things. Okay, so he's um, kind of testing you when he has a vertibility. So he gets down and he likes to like um, approach you and get back, approach you and get back. He likes to mess around with you when you have a vertibility. Again, a landing on him is not very great because up tilt. But it covers so much. Ooh, yes, yes. Okay, bell again, be good. I guess you're expecting the roll, that's fine. Okay, so inspe instead, okay, I, 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 I get that you understand that he, maybe you might understand, that he likes to, look, he immediately does a get up option. Jump and roll are his main ones. Um, so throwing down the um, F smash is good, but you mistimed it. Uh, it would have been much better if you put the hydrant down here. And my, okay, so for some reason it makes people's mind, okay, here's a hydrant here, I got, I got a roll, or I got a jump, or I got a, do some or get up attack because of the hydrants are here. So if you like put in a hydrant, side tilt it, people will most likely do like a get up attack because oh the hydrants hurt. I have to get up. I have to get up attack. Obviously, right? Then you shield it. Then you pump it in the face. But you, I understand you're trying to get that smash. That's okay. Why we land on him? Oh, sick. <laughs> Okay, again, you went high this time. That was the first time you went high, so it's a good mix-up. See, he was ready for you to uh, go low. Well, double jump a little er um, early. It looks like, again, immediately gets up your deck. You can be punishing this. Double jump fate into landing it down. It, you air dodge that pressure, careful. Again, landing aerial. Again, he likes to jump off way off stage. You'd be very patient with that stuff. Again, you you keep baiting yourself. You throw a bell and you're like, okay, I gotta go, I gotta go in, I gotta go again, I gotta go in, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's totally okay to throw this the bell behind you and not uh, towards your opponent, so you can recatch it, so you can kill him. You don't have to throw it at him. Good. Okay, so you like to approach a fair. So if you approach a fair, you gotta do it precisely because he's gonna keep spamming aerials and his, his aerials beat yours 100%. One switch to and pressure and forward air. You gotta get patience from him. He likes to D out. This is what you should be doing. I'll still be out here though. I knew it. So he's gonna play aggressive. I wanna see what it does. Okay, again, up to up to up to up to up to See, okay, so he likes to like space you out. Because he's he's got a big 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 back sword, right? See how is it going back? He's like baiting out your fair. You have to be very careful when you use a fair. Sometimes dash deck's awesome because you can shield after it immediately, do spot dodge, roll, attack. Don't You don't have to approach a fair every single time because he will bait it out. Good. I don't know how you got like that. Okay, so... Up throw up air. If you have an opponent that I still land with aerials, like your friend Marth here, see how he does an aerial immediately? You should do it up air, up air, up, up air, up air, and then land. Or bait him, and then land, and then hold shield. And then punish his land. See, that's punishable. You can 100% punish that. You could punish that too.
How to approach with um, aerials? It looks like I haven't seen him approach with dash attack or grab one time. Like, see, he, he has to jump every single time. So you grabbing here was not a good read. Okay, I lied. That's a f um, maybe. I mean, I'm not remembering real, but he did approach down tilt this time. You want him down tilt? But most of the time, he likes to approach with aerials. See, I think fair is fine. Don't get baited by your orange, you get lucky here. I didn't hear it again. So he, he likes to jump off stage. He's very confident off stage. If you punish him like one or two times off stage, he you have you have his respect. He's not gonna try and do it again. Well maybe. Good. That's what you're trying to do early on level. Yaka. Mm -hmm. Good patience. So, uh, 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 the people are like right here of this area, and they have double jump and air dodge. They they um they get impatient. They don't want to go low and regale ledge. They don't want to let you charge fruit and put the new hydrogen or trampoline. They want to get on stage. So what he does is the air dodge in, or he did the double jump last time I think. Lenny dare again. Once he lands and he misses his aerials, he likes to do side tilt. So he the down airs. Oh, he shielded it. That time to do side tilt. If you buff of that, I'm sure it's punishable. He has he doesn't grab much. He's shield. Again, it's like a time he air dodge. Yeah, that was a misinput. That was definitely a misinput, I know. Okay, so again, he likes to approach with aerials. Um, he hasn't seen any grabs yet. Just hold shield until he grabs you, until you, you gotta read the situation. Um, when he lands with aerials, he likes to do a side tilt or up tilt afterwards. Stop landing on Marth that way. Stop baiting yourself with the fruit. Stop baiting himself with the um, forward air, because he likes to dash back. And that's about it. For this round. Alright, we have game number two, and this is on town and city, I think. No, this is town and city. Okay, so um This is round two, the Marth player. Um last time I can't remember how I started neutral last time. I can't remember honestly. Um yeah, I can't uh, okay, we'll just go. <laughs> so instead of taunting, I have an idea for you. How uh, instead of taunting and letting your friend here get stage control, how about you spritz up here and throw your hydrogen down or charge fruit or do something? I guess this is a friendly. Okay, that was a little too harsh. I understand this is a friendly, but still. <laughs> uh oh, what happened? What the hell? Huh. Okay, so landing on. <laughs> um. When you throw it, sorry. When you throw it in the hydrant. If your your friend here likes to attack the hydrant, which I don't remember, I can't. Okay, I'm, I suck at remembering from game one, but um, you can land aggressively. But until you know if he likes to attack the hydrant or he likes to jump here and contest you, don't land on him just yet. Or do down air if he likes to jump on top of you. It's fine. Good. Good punish. Mm -hmm. Okay, so remember last time he likes to do the aerial, and this time he did the air dodge. So it looks like if you just up there or up there. And you just uh, fast fall down. You can punish his air dodge or his aerial. After um, up there, up there. Good. Ah. Oh. Okay. So no, 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 no. I understand you want to charge fruit, but how about you do step number one first after charging fruit before you charge your fruit. Stage control. Hydrant and then can charge your fruit. Cause look, we just gave him stage control. And we're in a corner now. Okay. Um. When you get him off stage, we should be contesting him. Bam! Awesome situation right here. Get up here and throw cherries at him. Throw a hydrant somewhere. A trampoline. You gotta, you gotta do stuff. But let's let him get on stage. Okay, so he looks to roll. That was the first time he rolled, I think. Hmm, that was an interesting mix up. Okay, again, we're kind of faring out of shield. Good players um, will probably catch on to this because forward air is not safe. Well, landing, fast fall, landing, fair, safe, basically, safely spaced is safe, I think. But, um, this is not safe. So if you, if you were to shield this, you could do up tilt. He likes to jump from ledge a lot. Tuck on. I think he should be holding shield more. Honestly. Not in this situation, honestly. <laughs> but, um, I haven't seen a single grab from him yet. I think you should be shielding more. Again, you gotta be very patient off stage because he likes to run off. Again, like um, he could have 
fast fall jump uh, from the ledge and jump jump and did a counter and you would have died here. You didn't have double jump on the frame. Ah, careful. Next play, grab some winning, get some vertebrae. Good. That's good. There's no time to throw the Galaga here and get a combo. I understand you're trying. To, I understand what you're going for. I understand, but you just saw. Anyways, you Galaga, and because you got you got baited by your fruit, and this doesn't seem like a bad situation because you didn't get hit. But look at this. We get baited because we wanted to catch this, and now he's in. He has control of the situation. And we we took it. again. Okay, we did punish it. Yay. Okay, but he likes to immediately get up. Not in there again. Ooh, second time you roll behind you. Maybe you should be uh, punishing that. Yes. Yes. Yes! I love it. Okay. No, I don't love it. <laughs> what the hell is that? Why'd we do that? I was so proud of you from it. why we do that. <laughs> it's invernability. Throw the hydrogen down. Throw the hydrogen down. Throw the hydrogen down. No. And now he has to control. <laughs> yes. No. One second. Okay, so three throwing immediately. Um, I've seen your friend tech a lot. Look, he, he's he's a tech master right here. So maybe if you were a little bit more patient with this, expecting the tech roll or a tech a neutral tech. Um, if you're a little bit more patient, like dash back so you can hit the if you tech rolled in, and, uh, you can hit him fair and then do up air or whatever you want from there when you hit him. Video away first, and we get punched for it. Ooh, hydrant, 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 hydrant. So if you're gonna land like this, landing with a fastball uh, air dodge is punchable. We we got lucky. He should have side tilted, not smash. I knew he was gonna roll. Yep. Good. Good. Up uh, again. Fastball. You can be punished. You can like throw him up and then sit your ear and up smash. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Again, he rolled in like the third or fourth time. Uh, uh, fifth time. Ah, <laughs> uh, again. So I understand that you want to get the big boy punished with the smash attack, but it's safer to do a grab or a side tilt. It's faster. He's he's letting you get on stage. I love it. Okay. Okay, I love it because you knew. Hopefully, I think you knew that he loves to land with those aerials. Oh, I'm right here. I'm gonna land on the aerial. It'll totally work. Right? And then you up smash him. Whack, right? <laughs> um. So yes, that's awesome, Reed. Um. You played a lot better this game, so I love it. It's next game. Okay, game three. Um. I think this is the best of three because I didn't see any, any any other videos. So this is the last game. Don't get nervous. Uh, nervous people will lose, and we're gonna change that. We're gonna point out the changes here. We're on Yoshi's Island now. Um, this stage sucks for Pac-Man. It absolutely sucks. And for the reason for that is, um, I think the ceiling is lower. So, and Pac-Man's up smash. Okay, wait. Let me rephrase this. That's not the reason my Pac-Man sucks in this stage. The reason Pac-Man sucks in this stage is because these slopes are here. So there are mix-ups. You can like you can throw the apple down on these slopes, and then you can like do some mix-ups. But the reason for this and why it sucks is you can't do your uh, when you take off a stock uh, and you just, um up here trying to get off, off the platform or start KO or whatever. You charge your Galka and you jump a stage, where you catch it, and you grab a ledge. You can't do anything after that because if you throw a Galka here, the slope this um, the Galka will disappear, and you can't do your combo. So that's just it's not. A big difference, you just can't do the Galaga combos. So you can still win. It's not that really that big of a um, difference. You can still do Galaga combos here. The platform might stop you. Um, but yeah, the Galakas are diff definitely a lot harder on your story. Again, what is wrong with this? Okay, let's wait this out. I don't know what's, going I don't know what's happening. Right. Uh, here we go. Okay, that was interesting. <laughs> the water boost. Uh, okay, again, where he's air dodging. This time he did the air direction air dodge. So you can be like baiting at the air dodge. It's people who dodge up away who are the issue. But then you can just catch his land. Okay, side side B from Squirtle has um, invertible, not invertibility. Well, yeah, invertibility. Um, he powers through anything. It's like he has a footstool on, which is hard. What 
the frick? Wait, I'm gonna see this in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> what the frick? You shouldn't. You, you don't deserve the grab. Okay, anyway. Good. Again, air dash. You should be punishing this. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, so imagine this: we punch the air dodge, we nair him, and he goes up here. Then he forward a combo. Then he's off stage on the left side. Yes. Instead, he lands. He's in a, a better position because we're on a platform now, and we throw the hydrogen here. Um, if you were to DI this way and throw the hydrogen here, much better situation, because then it's much easier to fall through the platform. And the hydrogen baits him, it looks like. Lying there. Okay, this time he's he me um, a little bit more aggressive when he's let's grabbing you. It's just, again, like you were doing, that's awesome. Play patient. Okay, so when your opponent is dashing like this at range, he's baiting out something. Like this, he has dashing back, he, he wants you to push him. And he, he got exactly what he wanted. He was just too slow in a punish. Good. Uh, what, what, what's punish? What the frick? Okay. Uh, <laughs> what are we doing right here? Okay, so when you. Why we throw the orange this way? And why are we dash tucking this way? No, 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 no. This is. And now he has stage control. Very bad. And we still want it in action, but whatever. Hold shield. You have, okay. You have to be a lot more patient with your shield. Just hold shield. He's not grabbing you. I mean, with Skirtle he was, but Mars is dead. Why didn't we F smash? F smash would kill him. Eh. Eh. Good patient landing, but we got punished for it because he's da again. When your opponent is dash dancing like this, he's waiting. He's waiting for you to do something stupid. And what you did, if you were instead of landing the hydrant through here, you would not have got hit right here. Air dodge pressure. You guys both air dodge pressure. Again with the bell, we um just threw it out, and we get punished for it because we're we're just baiting ourselves. Uh huh? Oh. Oh no! Punish it! <laughs> what the frick? Stop trying- Okay. I get it. You really want to get that punish. It's a really hard punish. He will die. But. Big but. You can't. It's too slow. Only do it with very laggy moves. Turn on smash is very laggy. Again, be patient. Again, when he commits something like fire breath, it's yes. This is go time. Mm. Again, he likes the same thing with Marth. Um, he likes his jump. Mm -hmm. I think Apple might kill. Maybe Charizard's a big boy. That's nice. No, hydrant through here. Again, when he's dash dancing, he wants your approach. He's giving up stage control for a reason. But again, we get lucky. We, well, I can't, maybe this is read. Because last time he did jump. Okay, good. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Again, yeah, he could be baiting this dude. So, so ooh. Uh, yes, yep, yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Galka. Okay, when it hits, I did a mid percent like 50, 40, 50, 60, uh, those kind of percents. Uh if you hit him, um what you, what, what you should be doing is it will carry him up here and it hit him again. So you throw it, it hits him and it hits him again, and then you do like back air or uh, up the, um, up air. But in this situation, back air is way more valuable. So, okay, imagine this. So, it hits him up here. So it hits him twice. Okay, he could have attacked it, but still, because so, it was a platform here. But if we dash back here and we did like a V kind of thing, like we back here, back towards him now. So it's, like a, it's a reverse aerial rush or whatever it's called. So we, we face towards here and, we, and like a V, we jump this way and we back air him. See how I can do it here now? 
So, uh, uh, bop, bop, bop. So, and then you can be a bop, bop, bop. And then back air. And then he's on stage. Yes, yes, yes. I love it. Thank you, slow. Yes, finally. No! <laughs> uh, I was so proud of you for a second. Yes. Big no. <laughs> um, Abysaur is very good against opponents who are above him and below him. Uh, I, uh, I... Okay, so what most people do with platforms is I have I'm I'm guilty of this habit too. Okay, so on platforms, um, most most people like I'd say 70, 60 percent of players, instead of fast falling through the platform, they'll just sprint and fast fall this here. So if you're another platform here, imagine this: we skip right here and we F smash right here. He's dead. Back throw maybe? It's fine. Oh, it's going high. That was nice. I like it because we didn't get baited. You didn't want me to catch it. I love it. Hydrant, hydrant, hydrant. Thank you. Uh, okay. Those razor leaves will go through the um the hydrant. You gotta be very patient with that. Yes, grab him. That was about to say yes. That won't kill though. That was just good. Yeah, that's the same thing he hit last time. You could have punched that. Again, jump from ledge. Oh, we almost got it. I. What the frick was that read? What are we doing? <laughs> what the hell? Was this a. This better be a misinput. What the hell are we doing? <laughs> oh dear. Okay, that's, we got lucky. We commit to the so Pac-Man's grab. It's a commitment. You throw out the grab, and you're committing. You want him to run into the grab because it lingers. But your friend here has been dashing back and baiting out options like forward air, dash attack, whatever. This is hard time, and we can punch for it. And I'll kill you. Yep. I think Apple might kill. Back throw. Yep. Apple will definitely kill now. <gasps> ah! Yeah, I'll kill. Yes. Huh? Okay, when we approach him, he likes to jump. But imagine the hydrant here. Yes. Again, he has to jump. See how he's. Uh, again, this is what I was talking about the, the ledge. It kind of like made it smaller. Yes. Back air. No, back air. Double jump back air. You like to commit to things. Good patience, I love it. It's fine. Hydrant. Hydrant. Okay, the reason why I'm saying not hydrant right now is because he's in a very bad situation. Like right here, hydrant definitely. But right here. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> right? It's your choice if you want to edge let's trap with the hydrant. Your choice, completely. Because there's a whole bunch of things that Pac-Man could do with ledge trapping. You don't have to use the hydrant for ledge trapping. But in neutral, like you were earlier, when you threw the orange item, hydrant. Yes. Down there, hydrant. He, he had like no jumps. Uh-huh. What the, yep. What the frick was that? Okay, fair enough. Back there, back there, back there. There we go, there we go. Again, we kind of- you love to commit to things. Like, you like to commit to forward airs, grabs. Lunch guards. We still might have get punched for that, and then we got another back throw. Oh, uh, what's punished? Apple will kill Avatar in this move, so. That's so key. We can punish that. Yes! Finally, that's the one time you can punish him with the smash and Azure hit it. But a grab, I think, would have killed him. But you could, you finally need to get the the punish for that. Okay, so issue I have with you is get better with Galka. I didn't see any bell kills. I didn't see um uh you mostly got your kills through grabbing and throwing, F smashing, and let's trapping. 
Oh, sorry, let's guarding, and that's about it. Um, when you up throw up air, he likes to air dodge or do aerial afterwards. If you do up up throw up there and then you fast fall, um, you can punish his air dodge or whatever from there, right? Um, what else is there? Um, his Marth, he really, really, really loved to land of aerials, and after land of aerials, he likes to do attack again. Like uh, almost every single Marth does this. Like wait for him to do attack again after landing, and then punch that. Um. I'm not really thinking about anything. Uh, I don't know. It's just like, uh, good luck. <laughs> All right. See ya.